What's up, everybody? Welcome back uh, to the Oak Like Auburn News Overtime Podcast. I'm Justin Lee. This is Adam Cole. Hello. Adam Cole with his second... Uh, second appearance. Second appearance on the show. His re-debut. re-debut. Uh, yeah, we took a few weeks <laughs> off. We're back. Uh, but it's, it's, it's summertime, Adam. Um, I don't know. We've got baseball going on. We've got softball going on. Uh, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Adam came in. Uh, you, ca- you came in uh, right before A-Day. Right? right before, yeah, 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 yeah. So got to be here for for eight day spring game, and you know we already talked about it, but nothing, nothing super significant in the way of observations from that. But no, not much. You haven't heard already. Yeah, but I'll, I mean, I guess it's funny because it seems like for you know as much as there's all the spring sports going on, the biggest buzz at least right now would be kind of men's basketball, and and yeah. at least the, you know, you've got Brandon Huntley Hatfield is on campus currently. Um, okay. Joni Broom. I believe visited was that last week. Sure. Um, and then I think Julian Phillips is is on the way. So, to aggressive recruiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, um, they're, 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 BP's trying to reload, not rebuild. Definitely. Um, right. Speaking of football and basketball, there was the game, the big game last <laughs> night. Uh, as we as we talk, well, this is what Thursday. This is Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday this is night. Thursday. Uh, the big, the big uh, football versus basketball walk-ons throwdown, uh, it which in which you said T.J. Finley wore a shirt that said QB one on I it, right? it. was I believe it was our own Jake Weiss who actually <laughs> witnessed that. I don't know. Was he on the scene? Do we no, know? He no, he was just watching the IG. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're so if you're if you're not on social media. Uh, yeah, there was a big bet that brewing between uh, the foot the football guys have been hooping a little bit since a day. So I started talking a bunch of crap, and then the basketball guys started talking crap, and then it, it devolved into a football scholarship players versus Auburn basketball walk-on players in basketball. Who would win? Right. And uh, it, it it would appear that bas- uh, the basketball kids won the series. Uh, Three yeah, to two. I think. They had a had a big throwdown. Uh, <laughs> At the Nebula modern Arena, era, right? And teach, yeah, in the on the game floor. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> on the people were in the bleachers, <laughs> and, and uh, someone TJ handed his phone to someone, and they they live streamed the live streamed the whole thing on IG. I didn't even realize. Yeah. I need to go back and watch. And then and then and then he would like uh, he would pin the he, the moderator, <laughs> the guy running it would comment and then pin the score. Oh my god! It was pretty efficient. That's that sounds like a really good way to do that. Honestly, <laughs> it was pretty effective. So he'd go like he'd type in like B ball ten nine and then pin it, so everyone would know what the score was until someone else scored. We so it, to- it had live scoring. <laughs> that's that's pretty efficient. Yeah. So yeah, pretty pretty fun. Maybe they'll do it again. Uh, but yeah, that's the welcome to the modern era. And, uh, yeah. You know. Hulu has live sports, and so does TJ <laughs> Finley's Instagram. TJ. That's. We need to do that so, with. Yeah. I've got pickleball courts at my apartment complex. I think we need Bro. to do that with some pickleball games. Dude, we gotta summer. play some. We gotta play. Some. I've never played pickleball. Dude, it's. it's Don't great. you have to play two on two? Um, I see. That's the thing is, I have, it's, to, have, I have it, to have three friends. It's a small enough court that. It's a small enough court that I think you can get away with doing one on one. I've played. I've played Ben at Durando and one on one a few Durando. times. Durando. Yeah. No. Me and him been playing tennis. Well, How's before that, you got here. Yeah. How's that been going? It's all right. He's, I mean, he's better than me. Yeah, but I, I'm horrible at tennis, which is why I love pickleball. We gotta play. We haven't played since you moved here. We gotta play. All right. Anyway, but yeah, Anyways. no pickleball. Yeah, right. there's there's some at the new courts. Right. Yeah. Well, it were and not just where you live. There's ones at uh, Opelika, right? Well, there's some at Opelika, but Auburn University has some too. Okay. That are open and free, and they have lights on. They're like. Okay, my my. That stay late. They have they have lights at my apartment complex. Yeah. So nice. you play at midnight. Yeah. That's the play best late time game. To play. play late game, of yeah. course. Uh, anyway, all right, while well, we're making plans for that, other than that, let's see, it's baseball, it's softball, Adam, you took in some softball this week? Yeah, it's, um, it's been really interesting to actually look at some of the numbers for softball, we've been kind of keeping an eye on Bree Ellis, because she's closing in on the program's, uh, single season freshman home run record, uh, which was set by Casey Cooper in the mid-2010s, which right. is a weird phrase to use, mid-2010s, <laughs> but... Um, Casey's a legend. All of our viewers will know about Casey. But the really crazy thing 
to kind of look at was the home run numbers from a year ago to now. Right. Um, I think the number was 23 home runs a year ago, um, and I forget who, but the highest among anyone on the team was five home runs. Briellis, of course, has blown that out of the water already. She's at 16. She's two away from tying, um, three away from breaking that freshman record. But there's six other players who have hit at least five home runs this year, um, and there's like – if I remember right, it's like one player has nine, and then there's multiple with at least eight, and then someone has six. But yeah. of those, I want to say it was only one of them is an upperclassman. So right. a lot of youth right. really hitting for power, um, which yeah. is, is just kind of interesting to witness. And um, over the middle of the week, they played Jacksonville State and run ruled them. And, and yesterday against Chattanooga, they almost got there, but I think it went to seven. UT um, Chattanooga. Yeah. <laughs> I love that damn Mullen clip. Uh, yeah. I think it's a new bit to tweet it every time <laughs> UT Chattanooga pops up in some way or form. Um, but So they're they're 34-9 uh, and nine on the season, 7-8 and eight in conference play. But, again, mm-hmm. the SEC is the premier uh, conference for softball, right. uh, at least as far as depth goes. Yeah. Um, they're the deepest by far. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's a turnaround season. And, like, I don't know, like we had talked about um, – you know, the word was the word in softball, and as far as why the coaches were confident, it was like, okay, last year was the pitching class because Matty Penta and Shelby Lowe were part of that class, and then this year, this was the hitting class. This was going to be the bats who came. And in softball, these kids commit when they're like in eighth grade, right. you know, so right. you, have, you just have to wait on them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, but, but we're seeing some of the fruits of that, right. aren't we? Pretty early. Yeah. So, and it was really interesting. Actually, I talked to Casey Cooper yesterday. Um, about some of this stuff. Look at this insight. I ended up, I ended up asking call. her kind of just what it was, you know, coming off of the season, her freshman year, what it was like to kind of just have the perspective of all of that and how it kind of set her up for the future. And I was really interesting because I was expecting her to say something like, oh, it was so exciting. And, you know, there's, you know, three years left on top of all that. Yeah. But she was just kind of like, it puts a target on your back. And so it was really inter- it was really interesting to kind of get her insight and she you know she kind of mentioned um basically you know it it um uh the, you know the conference has a scouting report now so to speak after year 1 sure. um and so I'm I'm curious to see just how well they can continue to hit for power because it, it sure. makes a lot of sense if if the SEC doesn't have scouting reports on on people like Briellis or anyone else on the team who's really hitting well then no wonder they're doing as well as they are but I think it'll be interesting to watch over the next couple of years just kind of the way those those numbers go um, and and if they maintain do they get figured out yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but no it's definitely Exciting things happening at, at uh, J.B. Moore. Right now, it's a pretty good, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, you know, what did we say, 7 and 8 in the conference, but they're nationally mm-hmm. ranked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're top 20. Right. <laughs> that just goes to show what, what kind of schedule they have. And, and the thing is, with the meat grinder, um, I mean, in softball, all you got to do is just make the tournament. Like, mm-hmm. just make the postseason, and your schedule gets easier. I mean, yeah. hate to say it, but that's how it is for, for softball in the SEC. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, then, and then just try to, try to make it to Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, so, we'll see. Uh, are they on the road this week? They are. They're in Mississippi State over the weekend, and then Starkville. they play Alabama State at home uh, in six days. In the Hornets. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure how far. I'm, I'm series wise, anyways. I know they're 15 games into conference play, but I'm not sure how many SEC teams they've played so far. But I know that, like, I would assume at least that Five. they're kind of on the front end. Oh wow. Okay, so they're actually kind of into it so they're seven and eight okay so that'd be 15 games yeah right i'm just trying that'd be five series then yeah just about okay yeah my journalism major exactly five series i'll attest to that i'm not i'm not the best at numbers but i know yeah because is i've haven't been keeping up with auburn baseball as closely as i was last week but are they still ranked yes okay yes um but yeah they're doing their thing they're certainly there's a lot of fun to kind of get into the the backstory of uh, Sunny D. There you go. So yeah, if you haven't read that story, read Adam's story on Sunny D. Yeah, it was a good one. Uh, baseball I, eight and seven in conference. Okay, okay so they're right. About same the same, same spot. deal. Same yeah. deal. Five so five series down. Probably three to go. Um, but again, nationally ranked because the SEC not as dominant in baseball. Um, but I mean, obviously. The two so, two College World Series final teams, right. Vanderbilt and Mississippi State, 
uh, are from the SEC. But but, but, but softball is just stupid. Yeah. But yeah, baseball also strong conference. Yeah, Mississippi State and Vanderbilt this year are actually I think kind of slack, and I think they're both yeah. ranked. Yeah. Um, which is really interesting to see, especially I felt like Vanderbilt returned a lot of. Maybe they were younger on last year's team, but a lot of guys from last year's team. Of course, you don't have rocker leaders, right. so that changes a lot. But yeah, baseball's got a lot left. They have five series left. Yeah. Okay. Who? Who's? What series or like which teams? South Carolina's next. Okay. Oh gosh, and then traveling to face the number one Volunteers. Okay, that'll be Woo, another hey, opportunity. I will say this. I will say this. Tennessee lost to Tennessee Tech. You know who beat Tennessee Tech earlier this year? Oh, my gosh. Who? Auburn. Wow. Transitive property. Transitive property. Transitive property. I'm so just you saying. heard it here first. Auburn That's... will sweep the series in Knoxville. <laughs> no. uh, the biologic. Biologic. It just says it. Uh, well, yeah, so there you go. Um, baseball and softball, they're still going. Um, gymnastics, we put a bow on that. Mm-hmm. Uh We'd still be waiting, you know. We'll 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 see what what news come comes next as far as how next year's roster shapes up. But uh, yeah, all gymnastics best season ever. Uh, everyone's happy. Everyone's having a good time. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. What was what was the Fort Worth experience like, all in all? Oh man, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Went to wrestling. Otani hit a homer. Got to see that. Um, I think I'm gonna be a fake Angels fan now. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have a, I don't have a baseball team. That's fair. That's kind of how I am with the NBA. I don't know much about. Yeah, I can name like ten MLB players. Fair enough. I mean, I can name a lot from when I was a kid. Yeah. I can't name any now. I don't it's pay when I attention. <laughs> it's when I was in the thick of playing like the sports video games. Like you yeah, get yeah, every exactly. new copy every year, so you'd always. Yeah. And I was a real stickler for like updated rosters. Well, I used to just like watch ESPN, and I just don't. Yeah. I'll turn just, it on when I work, but normally it's I don't on mute kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, like I went out, but like in high school when you just had nothing to do, oh, yeah, you had nowhere to go, no yeah. money to spend, so you just sit at home in front of the TV. Yeah, and I just watch like daytime Sports Center. And now yeah. I'm like allergic to it. Like I can't. I can do. I, can I get. Do, I, get I, I go get my hair cut at sports clubs, and I'm like, can you change like, this? Let's, let's not do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is gar- I hate this. This is garbage. <laughs> They're out here yelling at each other about nothing. I can only do Ugh. straight up Sports Center or PTI sure anymore and yeah. i mean pti has just always been a classic big into pti yeah, yeah. It's, no it's a throwback they're still doing it yeah i think Same so. people i think it's both tony and mike still. tony and mike wow but yeah like around the horn can't do it around the horn i'm not really sure i understand around the horn because doesn't somebody there's like a winner right yeah what do they win nothing the, the argument they get to say they get to talk for 30 seconds uninterrupted good for them so they get to get on a soapbox after a series of soapboxes. Good for them. You get one more soapbox. That's I think stuff. that's the idea. I don't know. What? That's how it was back in the day. It may have changed. I don't know. What a concept. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Other than that, uh, we're kind of just rocking and rolling. Yeah. It's uh, heading into the, the low period. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Then it'll all ramp up yeah. in August. Oh, another thing to watch out for is uh, men's golf. Uh, they're in the second round of stroke play, which ultimately I think just sees you for okay. match play. Okay. So, well, it eliminates six teams. Mm-hmm. So there's 14 teams playing in stroke play. The top eight advance to match play. Auburn, I think, will make top eight. Okay. So we'll see. But look out for that as a, as a viewer. There you go. <laughs> they're in the second round. They complete, played the second round of stroke play today. I think they're fine. I think they'll – They'll advance the match play. Okay. And then it's an eight-team head-to-head tournament over, okay. th- over three days. Okay. So, yeah, the women got bounced in the final four, so Dang. semifinal. So, we'll see about the Auburn men. So, yeah, other than that, what, what else is new? <laughs> Not a ton. It's been – hanging out? Yeah. Can, are you unpacked yet? I think um, – No? I'm saying about 70% of the way. You're never unpacked. I, I, well, we're waiting on we're waiting on some furniture to get here. Yeah, that's what they all the, say. The office space is still a mess. I've got two right. huge book boxes that are just heavy, and I'm waiting on a bookshelf. Yeah, you need the, you need so, the shelf. Yeah. We're basically settled in, though. Yeah? Basically. Yeah? Yeah. Favorite restaurant or favorite Um. experience? I had it. My my folks came down and helped me move in, and for the three days they were down here, we went to the Hound, yep. which I had heard is – I heard for brunch on weekends it's really tough to get in, but it was like 1230, and they closed at 2, and I was like, well, yeah. it's right around the corner. Let's give it a whirl. and Slid through. That was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, the bacon flight is yep. – 
Yeah, well, I mean, it's a bacon flight. I mean, it's a bacon <laughs> flight, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, that was, I would say that was probably my favorite meal I've had. Um, trying to think of where the heck else I've been. Man, it's also just, you know, because I'm, I'm a, I, this is a, this is a new area of the country for me. I've never lived in the South, and so to be in a space that has like a Whataburger. Yeah. Um, well, the Whataburger's new. Okay. How new is it? Like last year, new. Wow. Brand new. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even still, I had yet. To, I was so excited. <laughs> I had yet. To, I, understandably. <laughs> well, I lived in Texas right. where we had six of them in yeah. town. Yeah. Yeah. And I loved them. I had a honey butter chicken biscuit for the first time the other day. <sighs> yeah. I had that and the spicy one. Oh, see, I'm, I, even I haven't had the spicy one. The yet. spicy one was good. I was yeah. expecting it to maybe be weird. I was, I was yeah. a little worried. Dude, you can't go wrong with HBCB. It was, it was really good. It's um, delicious. But yeah, like that. Um, there's a Bojangles, which I love. Cookout. Oh my gosh. Cookout. Yeah. yeah. I need to. I need to go try a little more local flair. Um, <laughs> Instead of just the <laughs> chains. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Have. I'm here. I'm here riffing off chains. Like it's. <laughs> If you can't tell, the kitchen is not fully unpacked. So I'll give that one about another. It may never be. I think the furniture is supposed to get here May 9th. So it's, a word? Yeah. So there's, there's a little bit of a wait. but What, are you just sitting on the floor? What are you doing? No, 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 no. It's kitchen furniture. So it's I've got a, I've got a couch and a little living room space set up. So I'm just I feel that. slopping over my coffee table. But, <laughs> yeah. We're loving Auburn. We're loving it. All right. I think that's about it. I don't know how long we've been going, but uh, we'll go ahead and call it. And uh, next podcast, I don't know. We might be on Zoom. Uh, we might be. Uh, our our office area is about to be. We can't be in here for, uh, for a while, which is nothing bad. It's fine. But uh, yeah, we're, we'll uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll take the camera and go go remote and uh, just just post up on campus. So I kind of like that. I think that's yeah. I think that's the move. Yeah. So if you see two dorks talking into a camera on campus this summer. Shout! I'd honestly something encourage nice. bothering us. Normally, I'd say don't bother us, but bother shout, us. Shout! Shout! Subscribe to the O8 News. Shout that, please. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, whatever you want, but hopefully, subscribe to the O8 News. Hopefully, it's that. Yeah. I'd imagine. Maybe we'll see you around. You have some other options, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a fresh start to the the podcast. We're we're starting all over. It's it's the the Justin and Adam show. So. Well, uh, yeah. Let us know uh, to holler at us, tweet at us if there's anything we you want us to talk about, and we'll do it. All right, cool. For me, for for me and for Adam, uh, that'll do it for this time, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.